All right, we're in the middle of painting the final pieces for our 1965 Mustang. Now you can see the car right here already painted. We're uh, color sanding it, getting it ready to buff. Um, I will tell you that I don't care what kind of clear you use. It all depends on the weather that you are using the clear in, you are going to get shrinkage on it. You will get some shrinkage and that's just part of life. So the more shrinkage you get, the more block sanding you're going to have to do to get it to shine on a mirror finish. But there is one particular product that I have found that holds a retention better than most. And what that is, is the All Candy Wet Wet Extreme High Solids. Now, we're going to go ahead and use this candy clear, or should I say it's not candy, that's the guy that sells it. His name's Tien, T-E-N-N. And what we're going to do is we are going to actually use this clear setup on the final pieces that I am going to paint. Now, I do want to let you know that this car was not used with the All Candy Wet Wet Clear. This was used with the Matrix clear that I use and that is the MS-52. That's the clear that I use almost all the time. Well, I would say 99% of the time. But uh, I have used the All Candy Wet Wet. I have videos on the product. The product is a high quality product. It's a mail order product. You can't walk into a store and get it. But the situation I have ran into is that whatever clear you're using, stick with that clear. All right. If you want to change clears, then you need to get a clear that you're going to use all the time. But once in a while, you come across a clear such as the All Candy Extreme Wet Wet, and this is the high solids. All right, this is supposed to be the best stuff that Autobahn makes. And when you come across that clear, you like to use it on pieces that you're not going to buff, such as the small pieces in the paint booth. We're going to go look at those in a minute. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. residue in the can. These pieces are not going to be color sand and buff. These are the small pieces that bolt onto the vehicle and are underneath. We got the front and rear valances, uh, the headlight buckets, and we got one other piece. I don't, you know, know what it is. It's part of the front end system. But the way that I do it is I take my clear. Now, once again, we are using the all Candy, you can go to their website right here, allcandy.com. We're using the All Candy Wet Wet Extreme, the high solids. It's an ACX9090. So we're going to go ahead and mix that right in our cup with our paint residue. And on this particular clear, to get the clear set up, you have to add reducer to it. Um, on uh, this particular day, it's not really that hot, so we're not going to use the extra slow hardener, which Tin sent me. This is the extra slow wet wet. Now that's like if it's 100 degrees out. Well, it's approximately 85 degrees right now, no humidity, and we got a good breeze blowing. So I'm going to go ahead and just get the wet wet extreme activator, and this is basically a 
three one one mix. That means three parts clear, one part hardener, and then we're going to get to the next stage, which is our reducer. So we're going to go ahead and add one part of our hardener. And then we come to our clear, and he also said uh, slow reducer, which you would use with your wet, wet extreme, just basic hardener. And then he also sent along with the extra slow hardener, he went ahead and sent some extra slow reducer, which we're not going to use. Now, one thing that I found out is when you use this high solid clear, you always have to add reducer. And to me, that's telling me that when you're taking the high solids and you're using reducer, you're basically going to this type of clear right here. All right, this is what I use, MS-52, very good clear. This is not a high solid clear, this is a medium solid clear. So when you're adding the reducer to the clear, it's telling me that you're making it into a medium solids clear. Now, I might be wrong on that, but when you're thinning down your clear, that's basically what it's doing, is turning it into a clear coat such as our MS-52 matrix. Um, once again, I have made several videos about this product. The product is a high quality product in my uh, opinion, and you're getting your money's worth when you buy this product. But uh, let me show you what I'm doing here. This uh, video is about two things, using the all candy wet wet, and also painting small pieces that you're not gonna buff. And this is uh, the situation, you can see how the clear has got a red tint to it. Let me show you that. Do you see what I'm saying here? All right, so what we're doing is we are taking the paint residue in the can and we gotta hurry up with this because uh, once you take the cap off of your spray gun and then you start mixing, if you're, you're, you're jerking around like my friend Pete is right now, talking too much, stuff starts drying. Let's get into the paint booth. I wanna show you the stuff and then I'm going to go ahead and put the first coat of clear using the wet wet. And on our first coat of wet wet clear, we don't want to put a full wet coat. What we want to do is put a medium tack coat. That means it'll be wet, but it's going to be more of a tack coat than a full coat. Because if we put a full wet coat using this clear right here, we're going to get runs in it. And we definitely don't want that. We're trying to avoid buffing and we're trying to make it where once we get done painting it, it's ready to bolt on and go. Okay, we're in the paint booth. We've got all our pieces hanging. Let's take a look at those. I put three full wet coats of base coat clear on those. Let's take a look at them before we clear them. Now, what I'm using is a cross-draft paint booth. That means my exhaust filters are on each side here, and then my intake filters are on the back wall. Very, very good system. The problem you have with them, you gotta keep your booth very, very clean, as you can see. And then I always wet the floor to keep static electricity off, and also to keep the dust out of the air. But what we got here, these are the small pieces that we're gonna clear coat. You can see that they have been base coated. Uh, we got the headlight buckets right here. We got the headlight trim rings. And we also got the uh, front grill shell holder panel right there. So the real deal is with the allcandy.com wet wet clear is that it's famous for you don't have to color sand and buff. Now, once again, I am going to tell you the truth about clear coating. I don't give a fuck what kind of clear you use. It all depends on the weather and the drying time of the clear. If it's real, real hot out and you clear coat something and it dries at a fast speed, it's gonna shrink. If it dries slowly, it's gonna level out and it's going to have a nice gloss finish. So it's very important to make sure you use the proper hardeners for the clear that you're using. Um, the last two times that I did reviews on this clear, the clear worked out very, very well, especially on small pieces such as this and motorcycles. The clear, the clear flows out minimal, minimal 
minimal orange peel and minimal, minimal color sand and buffing. Let's get this done and get the hell out of this paint booth. on your project at home but I'm going to tell you right now you need to follow all the directions 100% now I want everybody to know I'm using a Binks number no. 7 to spray with um, using an HVLP gun will probably be different and you got to know what you're doing uh, one thing I found out about this clear it dries slow it's a slow drying clear you got to wait about 30 40 minutes between each coat and then you want to go ahead and apply your clear properly to make sure that everything is going to come out nice. Another thing I want to show you before we go is I actually use this clear on a set of wheels. And if you look right here, you can see here's the wheels that I used the clear coat on. Um, I did mix my paint with the clear on this situation, but I will tell you the gloss retention that the gloss came out to be really held up nice and everything looks factory original. You're not gonna get a high gloss paint job on a set of wheels but for painting the wheels and saving money by uh, doing it the way that I just showed you how it's going to save you a lot of time and expense Okay, we're calling uh, 10. We got some situations going on. I've had several people call me and say something's going on here. And uh, of course, this is all candy.com. Wet, wet. Let's see what the deal is because he's not answering the phone. People uh, ordered clear coat and all this. Mr. P. Yeah, what's up, 10? Yes, sir. Did you ever take care of that guy over in Texas? Or? No, sir. Like I said, I hadn't taken care of him yet. I know you, you couldn't tell me a name. I've been waiting to get a name from that guy, so I'm going to take care of him. But I can't refund any money because PayPal didn't get locked me on up. They, I didn't got locked out of PayPal, so I just need to know his name. To well, what's going on, money. Tim? Talk to well, me. You got me on record, or you don't? Because then, you know, I can be honest with you. Okay, so what, if I'm recording you, are you not going to be honest or what? Oh, yeah. I mean, you can record. Well, what's going on, dude? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, bud. I've had like nine people call me on this stuff. It, like I say, I can get honest with you. You can keep on recording, and you can put it all out there. Well, what's and going on? Because I've been telling people that you, you're having some uh, uh, medical, some serious medical issues. 
Oh, I did. Like I said, I still do. But I mean, not with me. I'm fine now. I'm fine. And like I said, my wife is fine now. Right now is what I'm doing. I mean, I'm I forcing just got O'Reilly's that. hand. I I'm just forcing got... O'Reilly's hand. I hear what you're saying, Mr. P. I'm forcing O'Reilly's hand. And right now, what's going I got a few on, dude? People. What happened? What happened is that they done jammed me on up. Because I've had those complaints on PayPal and because of what happened, I called up PayPal. I've been I've been using PayPal for the last eight years to take my money. I called them on up. I told them that I was going to take care of the issue. I'm the owner. I've been dealing with you guys all this time. I done took monies off. You know, I don't know if you deal with PayPal or anybody. I, deal, I, deal, I put so much money through PayPal. Karen, I'm talking on the phone, please, with all that crying. Huh? You say what? I don't know. He's trying. No, it's not. I'm talking to Mr. Pete right now on the phone. Please don't cry. You don't want to be known for the cry on the back. That's so all right, don't bud. Do that. Not on his show. You gotta not, take. Not you gotta show. take. You gotta take care of your little kids. But what no, I'm no, what I'm lying. trying you to say. Please. Hold on. I'm telling. What I'm trying to tell you, dude, is I got people calling me up, said that you that they bought clear from you, and you haven't pr put any production out. And then I also had I've had three people call. It says what's going on with this allcandy.com. I get on their website. I can't order no clear, and I, I call the phone thing. number. I'm they calling. They can't order right now. And yeah. the thing is, because the PayPal got me down. And then and they tell I'm me, I'm gonna get them out of my pocket. I'm gonna get them out of my pocket. Well, listen let here. You, let me tell you, Mister P. Let me drop some numbers on you. Okay. Let me drop some numbers on you. Go ahead. Okay. Go All ahead. right. I'm listening, bud. You're listening. All right, you're listening. This is the thing. You know I've been doing. You just like you've been doing what you've been doing. Yeah. I've been doing what I've been doing. Right. For the last eight years, that guy, CPS, the place you went to, that guy back in, what, 2010, gave me my own line, signature series. And he told me, Mr. Kevin told me, he said, Ten, if you play this right, you can actually make more money selling product than you can pay cars. Mm -hmm. Don't you know, eight years later, it's 2018, and now what's happening is that I'm in a position in life, now that I done came back, now that I came back, two years I've been down, because I was going through what I was going through, my wife was going through cancer, and I was getting all this information. I was, uh, you know, I was just looking at thousands and thousands of hours of YouTube, learning what I needed to learn, right. and I put it to work, and it saved my wife. So I know the cures to the, uh, so we just say to, to the chronic illnesses that are out there in the world that they say, oh, you can't, you can't get rid of cancer, you can't get rid of cataracts, right. you can't do this, you can't do that. All them cats, don't you know, just like that's a racket, don't you know that here it is, there's no profit in cures, okay? So because there's no profit in cures, we out here paying, spending all this money on, 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 on insurance, on, on health okay. insurance, and guess what? The people with good insurance die just like the people with no insurance, right, with the right. same shit. Well, let me ask you this. Well, let's not make a, a, a book out of it. Let me ask you a question, but well, So, is your wife... Can't get away from the street. Okay. Hello? I'm listening Okay, to you. let me ask you this, Tim, because we don't want to write a book. You know, all we want is the facts here. So, you're telling me that you, if for the last couple of years you've, you've had serious illnesses in your family, your wife's had cancer... You're trying yes, sir. She was diagnosed with cancer. Okay. She done had an uh, operation where it took all her innards. She could no longer have kids. Wow. I mean, it, it's, it's a book. We could talk about more, but it doesn't matter no, anymore. No, that's right. The thing is, put it this way. She had to go through chemo. Mm -hmm. She had to go through all of that. And she still made it. Why? Mm -hmm. Because we know how to strip it. We know what to do. So yeah. ever since I put that second video on up, like that first video talking about that Mexican SS, mm -hmm. Like I say, a hundred. I know you get a lot of views because you got over a hundred thousand subscribers. I'm just now coming up on twenty. Yeah. Do you understand that? In well, I believe in you. Okay. I've well, listen, listen to me, Peter. please. Ten. Out for the last ten years. Okay. Can I talk I now? Your anniversary. Can I talk, please? Yes, sir. Okay. Look, dude. I believe in your product. All right. And I, you know, I had a talk with Bruce, and I told him you had some serious medical issues going on and he said well i wish he would have just told me that instead of dogging me um and i would have told him to keep the money but I, I real mr bruce call text don't call text 318-918-0331 tell me who you are tell me you're the guy that mr pete been calling me about write down your name address uh, everything i need to know and what you ordered from me okay mm -hmm. because i cannot i cannot refund any money because right okay, now so what you're saying is already took that money out of my account okay what you're trying to say what you're saying is you're 
PayPal account is locked up. It's locked up. I you can't, can't even get... accept any money. And okay, so what you're saying... Just, he's on going is it negative. I just got done making this video. I used that whole gallon of clear on three or four different projects. Yes, sir. It, it worked out beautiful, but what the real deal is... Are we selling clear, or are we we are we in a limbo and we're not selling any at this time? What's going on? That's the point. Right now, I'm in limbo because PayPal won't take it. Okay. The, the credit union that I'm with, they just converted from the old, I mean, from a different uh, credit card carrier. This is the real deal, Tim. I got several videos of your product on my YouTube channel. People are watching that, and they're saying, okay, I, li I trust my friend Pete. I want to get this clear. They call you on the phone, no answers, no callbacks, no texting, no nothing. What's going on, Tim? Just what I'm saying. Well, I'll put it this way. They need to text me and tell me what's going on. The calls, man, I'm being bombarded with calls. And then when I'm answering, sometimes they call and I'm on the phone talking to somebody else. You know I'm a talker. Look at you. I just got done using your clear on a collision job, uh, a custom paint job on a Mustang. And a bunch of little parts, okay? I was really yes, satisfied. I'm satisfied with the clear, but the problem we have, Tan, we can't buy it. Okay, we don't have no, we don't have access buy to buying it. When I'm advertising for you and I got people calling me on the phone saying, When, Pete, when can I get this stuff, my All friend Pete? All you have to do is go to local O'Reilly's, call him up and say, My friend Pete and all candy told me to come. Okay, can I get let me ask you a question. Let me get Bobby from Lake Havasu on the phone, and let's see what he has to say. Can I do Go that ahead. with you? Hang on. Hello? Okay, it's right. Can you hear it? Can you Hold hear it? I'm on the phone. Can I'm here. Okay. Can you Hold hear up, the phone? Hold up. I'm on the phone. Hey, we, 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 we're in the middle of, we, we got Okay. Is this call, Bobby? Right? Yeah, this is Bobby. Hello. Are you there, Bobby? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, you called me on the phone. You said you got on his website. It, it, you couldn't find anything. You called the number. The, the the thing was busy, and you were wondering about the clear. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just... What are you building, Bobby? What What are you working on, buddy? I'm going to paint my Dodge truck. Okay, what year is your Dodge? What year Dodge truck you got? 2002. <laughs> 1500 quad cam. Okay, let me ask you a question, buddy. You've been watching my videos? Okay, I appreciate that, Bobby. Now, if you want to clear what the problem is here, can I go ahead and tell him, Tim? Because, you know, we need to wrap this up. He said what happens is he's got a lockup on PayPal, and PayPal is closed his account uh, for the time being. When under they close the account, they just won't accept any new okay. orders. They won't take any more money for all candy. Can I call you back in about 10 yes, minutes, sir. Bobby? Yeah. Uh, let me call you, you right back, okay, straight, buddy? Bob. I'll call you back in a minute. I want some clear to yes, pay my truck. I know. Did you hear what he said, Tim? He wants your clear, okay? Yes, sir. All you got to do is go to the local okay, manager. Well, this is my... Call me up. Have the local manager call 318 Okay, well, this is my situation. This is my this is my situation, but I'm stuck in the middle here because I'm over here advertising your product. You know, you got you got dedicated guys like Bobby here that's watching my videos and learning how to do shit on my channels, and they want to use the clear that I'm over here advertising. Bobby pro. But, but we need to get this Bobby. clear. He my clear. Bobby's a pro. Everywhere he goes, every gas station he fills up, everybody's going to ask him, who painted that car? Okay. And please believe Bobby's going to say, I did. And they're going to say, wow, where's your shop? And he's going to say, I just do it at home in the garage okay. for fun. Well, hey, if you can put out stuff like that for fun at home, guess what? I want you to do mine. And don't you know Bobby can get his money back yeah. if he wants to? He can do one car month for 12 months and guess what? Pay off a couple bills. Why? Because he did it on his own. Okay. And his only I understand that. Okay, hey, Tim, hang on. All right, Bobby, let me call you right back, okay, bud? All right, Pete. I'll, I'll call you back in a minute. Okay, look, Tim, this is the real deal, okay? Yeah, we're dragging this out. It's at 22 minutes. Let's get the website going. Let's, you know, get shit together we, over we there. We can't get the website I'm trying to help you out, Tim. I'm trying all to sell you your product. I'm trying to get it out there. That's all you want to do. But I don't Tell want to go to O'Reilly's. That's the help I need. Tell I'm telling you right here. You told me you were going to send me a, a banner. I haven't got that in the mail yet.
you told me that you weren't going to advertise nothing until I took care of that guy, and I've been waiting on it. Okay, I've well, but you man. never called me back on the phone, Tan. I did. I called back, and nobody answered. I figured you called okay. me back when you got ready. This is what I'm. This is what I'm going to suggest, but you need to get with O'Reilly's. You need to get everything going. You heard Bobby on the phone out in Lake Havasu, uh, Arizona. You know, he wants to use your clear, but how is he going to do it? Okay, Mr. Pete, let me tell you. You want me to tell you that you don't want to hear this story, man. Not you really, because guess what? I'm in the ago. middle of working, Tim. I got to go, bro. Man. When are you going to be back in business so they can order it from you? When? When? When, 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 when I get this other provider other than PayPal because well, they don't want to release me. So guess what? I'm going to get them out of their pocket. I don't care about uh, PayPal now. Okay, you well, take me get, you know go to Apple me? Pay. Okay, what? but What's you know, there's, there's other places that you can uh, provide. Uh, Apple Pay, for instance. Uh, right. You got other... But don't you know, put it this way. Listen to me. Listen to me because I was watching you, Pete, and you was out there at these car shows. Don't you know how you... You had that boy... You had that cat over there, PPT Shook. You had that sales rep at that PPT Shook when you was out there selling your stuff. And you had that guy in the rows. He didn't know what he was talking about. Yes. Kick him back to the curb. Okay, Tim. Don't you know I was like, I was like in the Matrix. When you felt, when you came back on me, man, when you started on me the first time, I didn't know who you were. Right. But I felt like Neo in the Matrix. Okay. Don't you know I was out there blocking Mr. Smith's punches? All right, but listen, Tim, let Neo. me let you go, bro. We're trying to hook you up, okay? We're talking too much. All you got to do is tell them to go to O'Reilly's and call okay. them up at 318 All right, I'll, I'll see you. I'll O'Reilly's hand. Okay, buddy. We'll talk to you yes, later. Yes, sir. All they're, right. about to, they're about to bring us in to ink the deal. Okay. We're going to Call me in a couple days. Exclusively sold. We are about to be exclusively sold by O'Reilly's because okay. of what's about to happen. Well, you call me. Call me in a couple. Call me in a couple days, bud. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, so, uh, you know, we've had a big controversy over here about uh, All Wet uh, Candy, or what is the name of this place? AllCandy.com, uh, the wet, wet stuff. We're going to go ahead and call Bobby back, and we're going to see what he has to say one more time. Yeah, Pete. Okay, what's up, Bobby? Hey, I just wanted to shit to paint my car with. I know. So you were watching my videos, you saw the clear, you wanted to order some, and then... Of course, we ran into this situation. Well, yeah. Hmm. I've been watching for like a year. Yeah. And I finally decided to lay down the money and, and go for it. Right, right. And well, I need to clear. I'm going to paint it uh, plum crazy. Plum crazy purple? Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Now you're doing I that. Got, I already got some, uh, you know, I'm 63 years old. I was probably oh. painting cars when he was still riding a Schwinn bicycle around. Wow. And I'm a veteran, so... Well, thank you for your service, buddy. We appreciate it. Now, are you watching my videos on YouTube and learning how to do everything? Well, yeah. I've, uh, I've been watching them for the last few years. Okay. Well, I really appreciate that, Bobby. Now, look. If you can't get that wet, wet, clear over to Riley's, because it sounds like you got to go through a big scenario, you call me back. And I'm going to have Tan send me some clear, and then I'll send it to you. I'll have it shipped to you. How does that sound? Yeah, that that works. Okay, buddy. Well, you take care, and sorry well, for the... Take, he, he should be able to take a, a credit card number over the phone, right? I mean, that's what I was thinking. I don't know. I mean, I guess he doesn't have a, a merchant account set up or something. I don't know how he's... You know, this is my real opinion on it. If he really wants to sell this clear... He's going to have to, you know, get on the stick and buck up and start producing product. I mean, no. I mean, you know, you got you got all the people watching my videos. You're like the fifth or sixth guy that's called me. And, you know, I mean, I'm advertising this guy's product, and you can't even buy the stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, why put videos up advertising a product for years. When, when you can't even sell it. telling everybody how great it is, and it's not that great if you can't get your hands on exactly. the shit and, and spray, exactly. you know, use it. So what we're going to do is he's going to call me in a couple days, and I'm going to tell him, look, this guy wants a gallon of clear. What are we going to do? How are we going to get it to him? Okay, bud, and you call me back on Monday, and we'll figure it out, all right? Yeah, well, I could get a money order and send it to him. Well, I got the let's cash. do this because I don't want to make my my you know I don't want a bad reputation of me advertising a product. 
So now I'm going to step up and I'm going to help you out and get your clear. So let's do this. Let him call me back. I'm going to tell him to send me a gallon setup. What did you want? The extreme wet clears what? Well, it, it, on his website it says wet, wet plus. Okay, he's he's also got... 175 bucks for a gallon in the hardener. Okay, you want the wet, wet plus. You don't want the extreme. All right, let me do this. Let me talk to him, and I'll see if I can get the clear for you, and then I'll send it to you from my shop. Okay, buddy? All right, man. All I right. appreciate it. You call me back Monday, okay? Don't forget. Hey, I won't. You know, after I do my dodge, it's kind of a test for me. Right, right. Fooling around with a purple and a clear and all that. I understand. I have a silver Camaro, a 71. Right. 454 big block in it. Damn, dude, that's a badass car. Well, listen here, bud. Do me a favor. Email me pictures. I want to see that. And then call me Monday, okay, buddy? All right, Pete. All I'll, right, I'll Bobby. You take care. God bless you, bud. We'll see you later. Bye, man. All right. Thanks. So, um, you know... Can I get wet, wet, clear for everybody that wants it? No, I can't. That's not my job. All right, but what my job is, is when people are watching my videos and I'm advertising a product on my YouTube channels to go out and buy this shit, all right, the guy that I'm advertising for better buck his ass up and figure out how the fuck he's going to supply clear to all these people out there that want the shit. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, trying to make things square for everybody, trying to be the middleman and doing things right. Let's hope you follow in line and do the fucking same thing for the fellow brother out there that needs your help. We'll see you later.